What is ultraviolet radiation? We are surrounded by radiation of all kinds, including visible light and radiation we cannot see, like ultraviolet radiation, radio signals, x-rays, and more. All radiation is measured in wavelengths, with radio waves being longer and gamma rays being much shorter. Wavelength is measured in nanometers, with visible light rays being in the 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer range, and ultraviolet radiation in the 400 nanometer to 190 nanometer range. As the wavelengths shorten, the more dangerous they become. Ultraviolet radiation is very much like visible light, but cannot be seen by the naked eye. Light that we can see is called visible light and has all of the colors we see in the rainbow. Ultraviolet radiation starts right after the violet end of the rainbow. Ultraviolet radiation has a wavelength just as visible light, radar, and radio signals do. Wavelength refers to the frequency of the wave and amplitude refers to the strength or intensity of the wave. Different wavelengths of electromagnetic uh, radiation have different effects on people. For example, x-rays are used in cancer therapy to kill cancerous cells, while infrared light rays can be used to keep you warm. UV rays are divided into three categories. Those UV rays nearest the visible light spectrum have a wavelength of 400 nanometers to 320 nanometers and are called UVA radiation. UVA radiation is one of the causes of cataracts in our eyes. The next shorter UV rays have a wavelength of 320 nanometers to 290 nanometers and are called UVB radiation. This radiation is responsible for both skin and eye burns. The shortest UV rays have a wavelength of 290 nanometers to 190 nanometers and are called UVC rays. UVC radiation is much stronger and causes more severe skin and eye burns as well as skin cancer on your exposed skin and in particular can cause burns around your eye socket. Where does ultraviolet radiation come from? Of course, it comes from the sun. The sun is the greatest source of ultraviolet radiation by far. However, there are many man-made sources of ultraviolet radiation as well. Ultraviolet radiation does serve some useful purposes in our lives. UV radiation is used in industrial processes for curing inks and resins, medical for phototherapy, dental practices for killing bacteria, and for sun tanning boots. However, ultraviolet radiation can also be very harmful to humans by causing injury or disease to our eyes and our skin. Some exposure to ultraviolet radiation is actually good for us. For example, ultraviolet radiation stimulates vitamin D production in our bodies while UV lamps are used for treating things like psoriasis or jaundice in newborn babies. However, excessive exposure to ultraviolet radiation is associated with skin cancer, sunburn, accelerated skin aging, cataracts in your eyes, and other eye diseases and injuries. The severity of the risk depends upon the ultraviolet wavelength, the intensity of the UV rays, and the length of time you're exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet light is the most common cause of radiation injury to the eye. While the cornea absorbs most of the UV radiation, the damage to the corneal epithelium is cumulative, similar to the effects of sunburn. Unprotected exposure of the eyes to the sun or exposure to sun on highly reflective surfaces like snow fields can lead to direct cornea injury and damage. Our eyes are particularly sensitive to the effects of ultraviolet radiation. For example, even a very short exposure of our eyes to UV radiation can cause painful, but normally temporary, conditions like conjunctivitis or photokeratitis. These are painful conditions because they inflame the cornea of the eye, causing our eyes to water and to blur our vision. Another disorder that can be caused by exposure to UV rays is flash burn, ground glass eyeball, and snow blindness. Add to that the fact that red sore eyes after a long day in bright sunlight and it can make us very tired and ornery. Our eyes are most sensitive to ultraviolet radiation that is in the 210 nanometer to 320 nanometer range, also known as the UVB and UVC era ultraviolet radiation. Those most at risk from UV radiation are anyone who works, plays, or spends a great deal of time outdoors. They are at risk of having their eyes injured or damaged 
by these harmful ultraviolet rays. Sunglasses are essential to protect your eyes. An excellent pair of aviator sunglasses that will absorb 98 to 100 percent of those harmful ultraviolet radiation rays are essential for anyone who spends a great deal of time outdoors. Whether you are outdoors for work or pleasure, the UV rays from the sun are always working on your skin and eyes. Over time and with prolonged exposure to the sun, those UV rays will cause problems for your skin and eyes. So always protect your eyes from harmful UV radiation by wearing a quality pair of sunglasses. Not those cheap sunglasses you find in the aisles of pharmacies, malls, and mega grocery stores. On our website at www.aviator-sunglasses.net, you will find a great selection of excellent sunglasses. I urge you to take a few minutes to visit our website, and of course, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our video channel. In the meantime, keep your wings straight and level, Hirsch.